lift up the name of Jesus this morning. Let us lift up our King of Kings and our Lord of Lords. He's in the house right now. He's here right now. Don't wait on him to come because he's already here. Don't let your blessing lead you this morning. Let us open our mouth and let us give the Lord a praise this morning because he's worthy. He didn't have to wake you up this morning. He didn't have to bring you here this morning. You don't know what he saved you from this morning. He deserves the glory. He deserves the praise this morning. He deserves all honor that is due unto him this morning. So let us lift up the name of Jesus. Come on, saints. Come on, come on. Don't wait for me to encourage you to lift up the name of Jesus. You have the Holy Ghost in you. You have the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He's dwelling inside of you this morning. Let whatever it is that is keeping you this morning, forget about yourself this morning. Let us concentrate on him this morning. And let us worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Because he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let Jesus be the center of it all. Jesus be the center of it all. Hallelujah. Jesus be the center of it all. Jesus be the center of it all. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. center of it all. Jesus be the center of it all. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been Way maker, way maker, 
time and just praise the Lord. Praise him. Please give him a hand clap. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on. Clap him like you love him. Like you love him. Like you know him. You know who he is. Give him a hand clap. He woke us up this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's time for prayer. And if there's anyone here that has a need, please come forward. We're going to ask the elders to come to anoint you. If you're sick, Thank you, Lord. whatever issue you have, Thank you, Lord. don't be ashamed. Come forward. I have a few names that we want to pray for. And let, let's do this. Let's not just call the name. When I call a name, listen to that name. Yes. And remember it. And just pray for that name. If you don't remember all the names, just pick one. Just pick one. First name, Nadia Allen, special need. Sue Neal, for healing. Yvonne Durant yes, and Davian, Damien Tullock, I hope I said that right, for healing and special needs. Marsha Agar, for healing, very sick. Alicia Paisley, this is a 13-year-old child 
who's been diagnosed with diabetes, needs healing. Geraldo Henry, for healing and special need. Sharon Gooden, for healing. Have surgery scheduled for tomorrow. Maureen Farkerson, for healing. Andy and Sister Fran, away from church, but need God divine help for their son who's in Cloverleaf. Marla Ross, for healing. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And I believe, if I believe, I'm waiting on you, waiting on you, Lord. My faith I shall stand. Your healing, my healing is in your hand. Is in your hand. Thank you, Lord. Now I must say. If you're here today and you, you see the sign behind me that says, focus on Jesus. Focus on Jesus. In the days of old, God had many names. We would call him Jehovah. We call him El Shaddai. We call him Yahweh. But in your Bible, in Zechariah 14 9 it says in that day there shall be one name and we're in that day and today that name is Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus there is healing in the name of Jesus there is deliverance in the name of Jesus so if you believe on that name that was given to us whereby we must be saved. We go to prayer right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The name of Jesus. And I believe. Yes, Lord. That name, Jesus. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Healing is in the name of Jesus. Deliverance in the name of Jesus. Comfort in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let's bow our heads and go to the throne. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are the one and only eternal God. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You're the beginning and the end. There's no God before you. There's no God beside you. You created the heavens and the earth. The same God that loved us so much that he came and manifest himself in flesh. Yeah. Gave his life on Calvary's yeah. cross to take away the sins of the world. Because God so loved the world that he gave himself not just for one, not just for some, yeah. but for the entire world. So we pray right now to that saving God whose name is Jesus. If you need deliverance, you believe on the name of Jesus. If you need healing, we believe on the name of Jesus. If we need salvation, we believe on the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your unconditional love, for loving us. While we were yet sinners, Lord, you died for us. Lord, it's not your wish that any should perish, but that we all come to repentance. So I'm in the house right now. We know that you're here because you're omnipresent. You're all-knowing. You are forgiving, God. So, Lord, all the names that were called today, Lord, for healing, for deliverance, Lord, we know that these are nothing to you, Lord. So if we can just come and be on one accord right now and raise our voice to the one and only God whose name is Jesus and believe that he can heal, believe that he can deliver, believe that he can make our crooked way straight, then he shall manifest himself. 
So as we come right now, we ask you, Lord, to forgive us, to guide us, to protect us. In that matchless name of Jesus Christ, we pray and we say amen. Can everybody clap and say amen? Amen. amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, we thank you for hearing our prayer. You may be seated. Ah, we bless the name of the Lord. Oh, God. There are prayer meetings going on around the building. Thank you, Lord. From sinking sands, he lifted me. With tender hands, he lifted me from shades of night. kind of God from sinking sands hallelujah he lifted me with tender hands he lifted me from shades of night to plates of light oh From sinking sands, Jesus lifted me with tender hands. He lifted me from shades of night to plains of light. Oh, praise His name. Jesus lifted, Jesus lifted me from shades of night to place of light. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, praise his name. Jesus lifted me. I don't know. I feel something here. Oh, anybody feel like loving him? Hallelujah. From shades of night to place of light. Oh, praise his name. He lifted me. He lifted me. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Hello, hallelujah. He lifted. Haga. He called me long. Before I heard, before my sin, full heart was stirred. And when I took him at his word, forgiven, he lifted me, oh God, from sinking. He lifted me. Can you turn the praise singers up, please, so I can hear them? With tender hands, he lifted me. He lifted me. Good, that's more. From shades of night, the plains of light. We 
we need to have an understanding that there are powers that can confine us and suppress us. But when Jesus gets in the business of lifting, there's no force that can prevent his lifting. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The enemy might not like it, but there's nothing the enemy can do about it. When you reach out to take a hold of his hand, he lift you. Hallelujah. I feel the Lord healing right now. There's some people that are low ebb in the service. But right now the power of God, the power of God is being manifest. That's why we came to give him an opportunity to do what only he can do. Anybody feel like praising him for the victory this morning? We rejoice in our God. He is able. He is able. Oh, I like that. I like that. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Come on, give him the praise. Give him the praise. Amen. So we'd like to welcome all of you to our service this morning. I know we're running behind, but we're going to praise God anyhow. Amen. I have a report to make. Jesus is alive and well. And he's still God. Like what Brother Ian said, boy, he has a name. We know that name. I said, we know that name. Anybody want to call that name? Jesus. Devils tremble at that name. Ah, come on. We don't make enough of that name as we knew Peter. But I feel like shouting that name this morning. That name that is above every name. That name that is above every name. There's hope in that name. There's victory in that name. Hallelujah. 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 I, I can hear that man. He had a situation that nobody could help. But God took care of it. Ah, oh God. And he declared, he declared to them emphatically that a man called Jesus, a man called Jesus, a man called Jesus, anointed my eyes. I'm glad that there's a man called Jesus this morning. Amen. Victory in Jesus. I feel good in Jesus' name. Ooh. Hallelujah. You want to reach across the neighbor? It feels good in Jesus. It feels good in Jesus. Come on, he's worthy to be praised. 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 Yeah! Hallelujah. Jesus. Sweet Jesus. What a about to welcome our visitors this morning. Amen. All those who are visiting with us, we'd like for you to stand because, you know, we, we, we have, all the seniors are gone to West Palm and, you know, I, I don't want to keep it, I miss them, but we wanted to bless somebody else and then a group of our saints are in New York, but you're here. Then I thank God that some people came to visit. I'd like for all of our visitors to stand. All of our visitors to stand. London is in the house. Glad to have them. And our dear friends are here. And all those, we, we just want to welcome you. We normally sing a song. Don't sit yet, don't sit. But we're not going to sing it this morning because we sang a lot of songs. But we just want you to know that we're so delighted to have you. We're not going to ask you for anything but to worship. 
And then one favor we'd like for you to do is come back and be with us next week, even if you're from London. <laughs> just stay around and come back and be with us this week. So I'd like for our saints close by to stand and just make them feel welcome. Amen. Come on, make them feel really welcome. And then would you, if you're sitting beside somebody, would you make them feel welcome? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I feel, I, I want to rush, but I, but, but I feel Jesus. Amen. I feel Jesus. Help me. Since I started for the kingdom. Since my life he I'm going to ask Sister Kenise to get ready to come. In fact, come stand close by me. Amen. We'd like all those who are celebrating or have celebrated a birthday in the month of November, we'd like for you to stand. All those who celebrated a birthday in the month of December, we'd like for you to stand. Come on, folks. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. Guys. Gentlemen, gentlemen, you, I hear things shaking. Amen. Now, there's some of us, some of them we know, some names we don't have, but they're going to give you something that's worth a lot of money that we'd like for you to hold on to. Their names, hey, gentlemen, everybody go in one direction. What kind of thing is that? Come on. Why y'all leave the side? Amen. Praise God. Just want to mention some names. Louisa Bert Bertrand, Winston Bramwell Sr., <laughs> Patricia Brooks, Dacia Brown, Justin Brown, Sarah Michelle Brown, Zipro Cato, Bruce Champagny, Ariel Cova, Delzita Cowell, Reba Dean, Kurt Evans, Amanda Forrest, Ashley Forrest, Malika Garns Lanou, Nicole Garrick, Joan Gordon. Richard Gerson, Amina Guzman, Grace Higgin Bramwell, Phyllis Jackson, Renell Kidd, Winsome Latimore, Del Rose Lawrence, Cornide Linda, Joshua Maxwell, Jovin McCormack, Daisy Miller, Katie and Richard Brown, Sandra Small, Marcia Spaulding, Mark Stallworth, Patrick Thompson, Jennifer Van, Grace Wilby, Aisha Williams, and the names that we don't have. Happy birthday to you in November. Amen. Amen.
Amen. And I think my brother, Sammy, celebrates her birthday today. That's where some of the saints are. And we also, my daughter-in-law, I mean, yeah, Janice celebrates her birthday today. Happy birthday to you. We're so sad that you weren't born in the month of June, but we understand that God <laughs> couldn't put everybody in that name. Delighted to have you here. Sister Kenise, where are you? Come leave the announcements with us, and then we go forward and say, I feel good. Anybody want to say hallelujah? hallelujah. How about I love you, Jesus? Oh, he's worthy, isn't he? Thank you, Jesus. They call that the password in Opalaka. The password is thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Before I read the announcements, I have a few cards from our family members here. With thanks, Pastor, Sister Stewart, brothers and sisters, to God be the glory for your fervent prayers and beautiful bouquet of flowers that lifted up my spirit during my health issue and recovery. Thank you and be blessed from Sister Leonie Bryant. We can't thank you enough, but we hope you know we appreciate everything you've done. To Pastor Robert Stewart, Sister Jennifer Stewart and the Pentab family, from Elder Moses Langston and Sister Pacher Langston. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, you made such a difference and it is so deeply appreciated. To Pastor Stewart, Lady Stewart, and Pentab family, thanks for your thoughtfulness, kindness, support, and prayers during the passing of my mother. From Sister Sharon Rowe and family, thank you. Our upcoming events and today's announcements will be projected on the monitors during the offering. They are also projected on the monitors in the lobby all day. We ask that you please pay close attention to them and also keep in mind the following additional announcements. Tonight's special members meeting begins at 7 p.m. We ask that all members make an effort to attend. There will be no men's prayer on Tuesday evening and no Bible study or youth service on Wednesday. In observance of the Thanksgiving holiday, the church office will be closed on Thursday, November 28th and Friday, November 29th. The church office will resume business on Monday, December 2nd at 9 a.m. For anyone who's interested in becoming a member of Pentecostal Tabernacle, we invite you to register at the Welcome Center for our next right hand of fellowship service. For those of you who are currently active in ministry but have not yet taken right hand of fellowship, please also sign up. For more information, please see Sister Daisy Miller or Sister Yola Bancroft. Our transportation ministry is still looking for drivers to assist with transportation on Sundays. Please sign up at the Welcome Center if you're interested in volunteering. For more information, please call the church office. Our last 2019 beautification night out will be held on Monday, December 2nd at 6 p.m. This is when we come together to prepare the building in various ways, cleaning, painting, maintenance, etc., for the new year. Everyone is invited to come out and join us. For more information, please call the church office. And finally, Pentecostal Tabernacle of West Palm Beach is hosting a night of elegance on Saturday, December 14th at 6 p.m. at the Westchester Country Club in Boynton Beach. Tickets are $80 for adults and $35 for children 12 years and under. If you are interested in attending, please see Sister Winston McCormick to purchase your ticket. Thank you for your attention to the announcements. Thank you, Sister Kenise. And Sister um, Rachel Alexander, are you here? Sister Rachel, where are you? Oh, so good to have you. Are you a doctor yet? <laughs> so good to have you. Thank you for coming. Welcome home for Christmas. Amen. Any of our students? Any of our other students? Amen. Praise God. It's great to have you. I just want to take a moment to thank all of you for your prayers and your support. Um, and those who traveled all the way with us to London, God's people are something else. Some tried to surprise us, but they traveled all the way to London to be with us. And we thank you so much for coming. The many prayers, thoughts, we just really do appreciate it. And I'm teaching a series that I'd like for everybody to come to Bible class and Bible uh, and Wednesday night Bible study. I thank God for the body of Christ. Amen? Amen. Without you, we wouldn't be anything. Thank God for each other. I'm glad that he brought us all into the kingdom. Amen? 
We want to give you thanks. We want to remember a few of our saints who are shut in and make sure that we do our best to stay in touch with them. You know them, of course. Brother Needham is on that list, and we, we don't want to forget him. Amen. Also, we want to... Oh, Brother Kendrick, are you here? He's in the back. Good to see you. Thank God for healing. Yeah. Amen. So, so good to have you home. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Anybody love Jesus? Amen. Amen. And I don't want to keep you long, but I love service. You know, anybody love church? I love church. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. But I know some of you are going to get tired. And Amen. But could you just lift your hands and thank him one more time? He's so worthy. We're about to receive our offering, and as we have asked, um, the month of November and December, we'd like for all of our members to give a sacrificial offering. And it's important, we will share with you the reasons for it, but at the end of the year, this is a kind of large facility, and we have a lot of expense that comes due at the end of the year. And we need your help. And we know that you'll help us, so we're going to ask you to give a sacrificial offering. Now, I'm not going to give you an amount, because to some of you, you know, thousands wouldn't be a sacrifice. But then, whatever it is for you, that's what we want. Amen. Amen. And um, we, we just want to thank you for being faithful. So it's time to give. And we're going to ask you to stand. And amen. The ushers are coming. The box in the front is for our radio ministry. And we thank you for supporting that. Amen. And we thank you for the blessing. As at a function the other day, and a lady said to me, she said, you don't know me, but I listen to you every Sunday. And, I, and I, of course, I don't preach on the radio every Sunday, but she listens every Sunday. We want to thank God that through the ministry, lives are being touched. Amen? Now, we announced tonight, uh, this, uh, Sister Kenise just announced that we'd like for all of our members to come back tonight. Please do. Everyone here wants you to come back tonight. Of course, uh, it's very important. Very important that you come back tonight, and you don't have to worry because you're free for the rest of the week. <laughs> we, there's no service, and if you don't want to go to work, just give thanks. Amen all week. The Lord bless you. So please, the service starts at 7 p.m. sharp, and we'd love to have you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Sister Bramwell, would you come and just ask the Lord's blessing on the offering? Would everyone stand, please? Everyone standing. Jesus, Jesus, we love you. We thank you for being good to us. Lord, we thank you for the provisions you've made from day to day. We thank you for jobs. We thank you for health. We thank you for the ability, Lord Jesus, to, to make a living. Mighty God, so many this morning have nothing to give. But Lord, we come to give that which you have blessed us with. Lord, some today have more than enough. But oh God, we give you thanks for all your provisions. Bless this offering today. God, bless the work that it should go towards. We give you glory for who you are. And we'll continue to trust you. Because, Lord, in you we live and move and have our being. Thank you for provision. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Come give us unto the Lord. Worship as you come.
Amen. Just before the choir sings, I walk back there and I want to welcome Brother and Sister Mark Phillips from Atlanta. Amen. And the children, so good to have you. And then Nisi has been here about a couple weeks and finally her husband is here. And we want to thank God for that. He's finally home from the military after 21 years. And that's something to be thankful for. Anything could have happened, but God spared his life and he's home. And we just want to give God thanks. Amen. God is great. Amen, amen. Praise God.
Yes, he's wonderful. Praise God. Would you stand with me, everyone? The Lord our God is wonderful. Sometimes we wish we had the ability to find better words. Wonderful doesn't fully say. Amen. Once again, we want to recognize our pastors from England. And um, it's good to have Pastor Davis back. I was wondering where he was, but he's back. It's good to have him back. And just to announce that Brother Linda, Sister Linda, um, they, of course, they live up the street, but they attend the Cooper City Church. Sister Linda passed away. We have known them pretty much all our lives. In fact, Brother Linda is the only remaining member that was baptized in that first baptism at Sagana's Beach, I think in 1950 or 47. He's the only one left alive. Still, Linda went home to be with the Lord. The service will be on Saturday at Cooper City, Pentecostals of Cooper City, at 11 o'clock. They would like for our praise singers and probably the choir to participate. Choir will get with you. And those of you who know them and can be there to support them, we will ask you to go. Most likely, Brother Francis from England will be here, and we're going to try to have him speak for us next week, Sunday morning. Amen. But it's wonderful when you have a hope beyond the grave. We thank God for that. Amen. We thank God for the young men in this church, and we're going to use them more and more. And thank God for their faithfulness. And I'd just like to recognize the speaker at our outreach service yesterday. She did. And um, I've canceled her desire to go abroad for missionary work. Going to keep her here because... But what the Lord just used her to minister yesterday, and we thank God for that. Amen. Speaking for us this morning is a young man that I appreciate. He's a straight. I thank God that some people have just decided that they're going to live for God. Please him. Brother Kirby Dietrich is speaking for us this morning. Thank God for his faithfulness in ministry. Amen. And God bless him as he comes and ministers in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's lift up our hands to the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, thank you, Lord. How excellent is your name. How wonderful you are, Jesus. Lord God, you remembered us in our lowest state. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, God, for inviting us in. Thank you, Lord, for making a way for us, God. Thank you for making us your own, Jesus. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your word, oh God. Thank you for your spirit, Lord. Thank you for being good to us, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you remember us. You haven't forgotten us. We bless your holy name today, Lord. You are so worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah. Lord, I love you, God. Thank you for loving me, Jesus. For looking beyond my fault and seeing my need, God. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We lift you up. We worship you, God. Hallelujah, salvation and glory, dominion and power belongs to you, the ancient of days. We worship you today, Lord. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your house, God. Thank you for the family of God. We bless your name today, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you today, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I feel Jesus in here today. And he's going to do something amongst us today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. Would you take your Bibles to 2 Chronicles chapter 32? Amen. 2 Chronicles chapter 32. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Give the Lord thanks for his goodness towards us to be in his house one more time. Don't take it lightly at all. I really want to thank him. Thank the Lord for our pastor, his family, the leaders. Thank God for you, 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 and you. Yeah. Amen. And I thank the Lord for my wife, Kenise. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to look at Second Chronicles chapter 32. And we're going to read verse 25 to 27. We are in the second book of Chronicles, chapter 32. We're going to read verse 25 to 27. Are you there? Amen. 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 Let's read it together. But Hezekiah rendered not again according to the benefit done unto him, for his heart was lifted up. Therefore there was wrath upon him and upon Judah and Jerusalem. Notwithstanding, Hezekiah humbled himself for the pride of his heart, both he and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that the wrath of the Lord came not upon them in the days of Hezekiah. And Hezekiah had exceeding much riches and honor and made himself treasuries for silver and for gold and for precious stones and for spices and for shields and for all manner of pleasant jewels. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Bishop, would you pray for us today? Father, thank you for your word. Powerful and settled. Lord, use your servant as you desire. Speak through him. Touch our hearts and our minds. That we will hear your word, but not only hear, that we will be obedient and apply them to our lives so that we'll become all that you have desired for us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. The Lord bless you. You may be seated. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Would you... Just reach over to the person next to you or maybe behind you or in front of you and tell them, remember, remember. Not, to not to forget. Remember, remember. Not, to forget. not to forget. One more time. Yeah. Remember, remember. Not, to forget. not to forget. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This week is a week that... Our country, especially, uh, we have set aside some time to remember, to say thanks. And um, it started out because the, the pilgrims came to this country, and after they had went through so much difficulty and they planted, they were able to reap some crop, and then they took some time to say thank you to remember to say thank you. Amen. So this week is, is a reflection week for most of us. Uh, but every day is a, we're supposed to give thanks. Every day should be a reflective day. Just remember the goodness of the Lord and his kindness and his mercy, yes, his long suffering towards us. Yeah. Hallelujah. We have to remember not to forget. Remember, remember. And I guess the Thanksgiving celebration week or, you know, you know, when you get to this week, you, you tend to think back a little bit. I think for me, it started a little bit earlier. Right. And uh, just remembering so much that our family has gone through in the last little bit. Right, right, right. And um, we lost six close people in our family within a year and a half. Yes. 
but I remember how good God has been. Yes, sir. If it had not been for him, I wouldn't be here. You know, sometimes you see people walking on the street and they look like something has run over them. And you don't know all that has happened. And uh, sometimes, if not a lot, it's not drugs that has impacted their lives. Sometimes it's situations and circumstances that they just have no control over. You know, bad things happen to good people. You know, bad things happen to God's people sometimes too. And my mom often reminds me of uh, some, some of the, the vagrants on the street that she's had some conversations with and she would say, you know, that, that man, that's not drugs. Amen. You know, somebody died that was close to him. And it really changed that person's life. And it's like, then you get to understand a little bit more about depression and how you can respond right. uh, and how much we need the Lord. Because without him, yes, sir. we can't do nothing. Oh, God. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. You know, sometimes you hear people sing, I could have lost my mind. I think I have a different appreciation for what that means. But thank the Lord. Yes, sir. I'm still here. The Lord has been good to me. You know, I'll be very honest. There were some days that I didn't want to mouth it. I didn't want to open my mouth and say, God, you're good. There's some days I felt like that. You know, we sing Waymaker. Light in the darkness. In 20, 2018, we were in convocation in St. Croix. And we were singing that a lot. I was leading the worship. I was lifting that song and I felt it. This is the song we ought to sing. Not knowing that my dad was sick and he didn't know how sick he was. Until after the convocation, we found out what was going on in his body. You know, two months later, he's gone to be with the Lord. And we are here. We are remaining but God has been good to me. Yeah. I've had to climb some of those mountains and find a, a new way to say, God, you are good in my trouble, in my circumstance, in my adversity, in between every teardrop. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as I reflect... And I thank the Lord, even through all that grief, that we are still here, my wife and I. You know, we lost our grandma, our last living grandma, the same year. You know, uh, lost my dad in 18, and she lost her dad this year. God is good. God is good. And we want to thank him for keeping us. We want to thank him for the help he sent our way by every prayer, every phone call, every word of encouragement, every inbox message, every, I'm praying for you, I'm praying for you. We want to thank the Lord for that. So when we remember, we want to remember how good God has been. Amen. And we're learning how to say it even more every day. So for many people, you are, you are reflecting in your own lives. You are thinking about what you've been through. You're thinking about your loss. You're thinking about your challenges. You're thinking about the victories that you have won. 
You celebrate, you triumph, you recognize that, hey, I've conquered this. I've yeah. overcome this. God is bringing me through this. We remember what the Lord has done. We remember what the Lord is doing. Hallelujah. So Thanksgiving, we, we say today, remember not to forget. And looking at our text today, there are two important characters here. We see the king Hezekiah and Sennacherib. And he decides, Sennacherib decides to invade Judah. He decides to go after them. The scripture says Sennacherib, king of Assyria, came and entered into Judah and encamped against the fence cities and thought to win them for himself. When Hezekiah saw that, Sennacherib was come, that he was purposed to fight against Jerusalem. He took counsel with his princes, so he got with all the people who were mighty and strong in, in his kingdom, in his cabinet, and they decide to stand up against Sennacherib, and the story goes on, you know, he says something powerful. With him is an arm of flesh. He says that with Sennacherib and his army is an arm of flesh. But with us is the Lord our God to help us and to fight our battles. And that's important to note. Because, you know, the, the fight hadn't quite started yet. They knew of the impending danger. They knew of the onslaught of the enemy assailed against them. But in that moment, they remembered that the Lord, our God, is with us to help us and to fight our battles. And the scripture says the people rested themselves upon the words of Hezekiah, king of Judah. Yes, sir. They, they took that word and it consoled, it strengthened them. They stood upon it. They rested on it. They were comforted in it. They were satisfied. They were sure that God was going to make a way. God is going to bring them through. So, Sennacherib king of Assyria, he sends his servants against Jerusalem and the battle is on. The heat is on. The fire is turned up. The war begins and Sennacherib, he is not only warring, but he is saying some things. Have you ever been in a place in your life where you're in challenge, where you're in difficulty and the enemy said some things like, where is your God? You know? Look how much power I have. Do you know I can take you out? Do you know that I can do this? I can do X, Y, Z? Look at my history. I've, I've defeated so-and-so. Who are you to me? This is the behavior and the disposition that Sennacherib had towards God's people right. coming after them. So he goes after them and he's defying, you know, blaspheming God. He's saying that I've got all the power. Your God is not going to bring you through. Your God is not going to bring you out. Your God will not deliver you. And as I look at this scripture, he was, it's, it shows that when he talks about Jehovah, the most high, he, the scripture shows us that the word God is spelled with a capital G. So his words were turned not only against God's people, but against God himself. He was attacking the credibility, the power of God. They keep going and Hezekiah realizes what's going on and they're coming against the, the, the people of Judah. This army is speaking against their God. And he had already told the people, with him, Sennacherib, is an arm of flesh. Yes, sir. But with us is the Lord, our God, to help us and to fight our battles. 
The scripture says the people had rested on it. And the heat is turned up some more. So Hezekiah, the king, and the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos, prayed and cried to heaven. They turned to God. They realized that I really can't do this. I don't have the strength to fight against Sennacherib. With all the army, with all the clout, with all the prestige, I cannot go against him. So they look to who they know their help really comes from. They turn to the Lord. They prayed and cried to him. And the Lord sent an angel which cut off all the mighty men of valor and the leaders and captains in the camp of the king of Assyria. So he returned with shame of face. So all that talk that he had, he turned around and just had to shut up. Be quiet. He has no response now. You hear crickets, nothing. Sennacherib is quiet because the Lord sent an angel and fought for his people. He came against Sennacherib. And Assyria to support, to protect his people. And it says here, Sennacherib returned with shame of face to his own land. And when he was coming to the house of his God, little G, (laughs) they that came forth of his own bowels slew him there with the sword. What a way to go out. You had all that talk. And now look what the Lord did. You got to turn around and be quiet. And your own people take you out. The scripture says, thus the Lord saved Hezekiah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem from the hand of Sennacherib. The king of Assyria and from the hand of all other and guided them on every side. The hand of the Lord did this. Yes, sir. And many brought gifts unto the Lord to Jerusalem and presents to Hezekiah, king of Judah. Because he's the king. You know, they have, they're celebrating a victory. Hey, this army was coming against us. Our livelihood was going to be taken away. If we lived, we might have been prisoners. We might have been taken captive. But look what happened. So they get ready to celebrate Hezekiah, the king. So that he was magnified in the sight of all nations from thenceforth. In those days, Hezekiah was sick to the death and prayed to the Lord. And he spake unto him and gave him a sign. And then we come down to our text here. But Hezekiah rendered not again according to the benefit done unto him. It's amazing when we are in the battle, we are looking to the hills from where our help comes from. But when we are on the mountaintop and God has brought us out with his mighty hand, we can forget what the Lord has just done for us. We're celebrating victory and freedom, but we're forgetting what the Lord has done for us. Hezekiah was sick and prayed to God, and God spoke to him and gave him a sign. But Hezekiah rendered not again according to the benefit done unto him. What has the Lord done for us? How has he brought us out? How is he fighting in our lives? How has he sent an angel to destroy the plan, to foil the plan and the armies of the enemy? And when we come out, we forget God. God, help us. Help us to remember not to forget. We want to remember your kindness to us. We need to remember 
and forget not the benefits yes. of God Hallelujah. in our lives. The Bible says Hezekiah's heart was lifted up. Therefore, there was wrath upon him and upon Judah and Jerusalem. Oh, God, help us. Yes. This is the same man that had told the people that there is an army with an arm of flesh. Yes. But with us is the Lord God to fight our battles. And the people rested on that word. And here it is, God has brought them out. And they have taken a moment not, they have not found a moment to thank the Lord for bringing them out. Hezekiah rendered not again according to the benefit done unto him. For his heart was lifted up. God, help us. Help us, Lord, to remember not to forget. So this happened for some time, but I like the turnaround here in our story. The scripture says, notwithstanding, Hezekiah humbled himself for the pride of his heart. It's a good thing to recognize when you've made a mistake. It's a good thing to recognize when you're at fault. It's a good thing to acknowledge when you've made an error. Yes. Hezekiah humbled himself. Both he and the inhabitants of Jerusalem so much that the wrath of God was stayed. The wrath of God came not upon them during his reign. So you can be in a place where you're celebrating what the Lord, or maybe you're not yet celebrating what the Lord has done. You have won a victory. You have conquered some challenge. And forget to give God thanks. Forget to give him the credit. Forget to remember what he has done. But don't stay in a place like that. Don't continue on that path. Take some time and remember. Don't forget that God made a way. Don't forget that God has brought you out. Don't forget that God is fighting your battle. Remember the Lord. Remember not to forget. Hallelujah. I love the turnaround in this story. Hezekiah is a man, skin and bones and blood and tissue, just like you and me. He was able to be somebody of influence, to be a king, but has flaws, makes mistakes. And for a moment, he chose not to remember. His heart became prideful. He didn't remember the Lord. Hallelujah. But God had spoken through him. God had sent a word to comfort his people. To say that I am with you. I am fighting for you. And here it is. He stayed there for a moment. He had not remembered. But the story doesn't stay there. Hezekiah humbled himself. What does it mean to humble yourself? Recognize where you are. Yes. Recognize your own frailties, your own inclination, your own mistake, your own errors, your own missteps. He humbled himself, both he and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that the wrath of God didn't come upon them. And Hezekiah had exceeding much riches and honor. Look at that. You can make a mistake, but if you stop to repent, stop to turn around 
and realize I didn't get here by myself. This battle, I didn't win by myself. The Lord brought me out with his mighty hand. Look at the blessing in store. The wrath of God was stayed. Mercy had come to the people. And Hezekiah, this next verse tells us, he had exceeding much riches and honor. And he made him, he had so much he had to make a place to store it. He made himself treasuries for silver and for gold. All of those things he was able to have now because he stopped and remembered. He humbled himself before the Lord. He remembered the Lord brought them out. He and Jerusalem. He remembered God brought them out. A lot of times what's stopping our blessing is because we don't stop to remember. We don't stop and acknowledge, God, you did this. You brought me out. And the blessing is just beyond that. That's what's holding up our blessing. If we would stop and God thank you, honor him, remember, forget not his benefits towards us. Remember that he brought us out. Remember that he remembered us in our lowest state and made us his own. He is fighting for us. He is with us. Hallelujah. We have to remember not to forget. Remember not to forget. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thankfulness can lead to mercy. You see, the wrath of God was, was ready to pour out. God was ready to pour out wrath on Hezekiah and the people. But it says, notwithstanding, he humbled himself. For the pride of his heart, both he and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. The wrath of God came not upon them. Thankfulness not only leads to mercy, but thanksgiving can release blessing. Thanksgiving releases blessing. If we adopt every day as a day of the thanksgiving, Today is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. David said, it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. David said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. And his mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. Let's take a moment and give the Lord thanks. You know what you're going through. You know what you're up against. Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. I thank you even in advance right now. I don't see the end of this story. And it looks like I'm going to fail. But I thank you for bringing me out. I thank you for holding me in the struggle. I thank you for upholding me by your right hand. I thank you for making a way for me. I thank you for going through before me. I thank you for making a way before me. I thank you, Jesus. You're still making rivers in the desert. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, help me today to remember not to forget. Hallelujah. You have brought me out. You are with me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. You're hearing my prayer. Oh God, Jesus, thank you, Lord, that your eyes are upon the righteous and your ears are open to their call. Thank you, Jesus. You are making a way right now. Thank you, Lord. You are going before.
for me. Thank you, Jesus. You're dispensing healing in Miami today right now, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Some wayward child will give their hearts to you. Thank you, Jesus. The backslider is coming back. Thank you, Jesus. You're going to help me through with that meeting tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus. You are making a way. Thank you, Jesus. You're fighting for me. Remember yes. not to forget. Yeah. Hallelujah. Remember not to forget. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. 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 We thank you today, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for who you will fill with the Holy Ghost right now, Jesus. I thank you for what you will do, God, before this day is done. Hallelujah. Thank you for hearing our prayers before we call, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You see, God is doing thousands of if not millions of things for us. And many times we are aware of maybe three. Thank him for that right now. Hallelujah. Thank you for all your blessings, God. Seen and unseen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Remember not to forget hallelujah hallelujah remember not to forget when thou walkest by the way he will lead you the fatness of the land he will what deed deed you feed you all right mansions and there we go mansions in the sky i'll deed. I'll deed you and the high place he will bring it down yeah. hallelujah that's right the high place sennacherib had some high places he had built up and he he was comfort he was comfortable in in the gods that they had built the gods made of, of man's hands the gods made with man's imagination but God sent an angel and annihilated them. He was able to protect his people because he can keep his word. When God makes a promise, he doesn't forget about it. Remember not to forget. God will fight for you. Obey his word. Keep his commandments. Stand up on his word. He will fight for you. He will bring you out. He will deliver you. Hallelujah. He will deliver you. God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to his power that works within us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember not to forget. God, I thank you today, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Pastor is teaching us from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. And Peter and the apostles, they embrace the word of God. And they come up against stiff opposition. People are fighting against them. The government has arrested them, detained them, and say that you cannot preach and teach in the name of Jesus. And Peter tells them, you decide whether you think I should or not. Right. <laughs> but we will continue to preach and teach in the name of Jesus. And God does wonderful, powerful things notable things in their lives 
One time, they were detained, and you meet up with Gamaliel, a doctor of the law. He had high reputation among the people. And uh, said unto them, Ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men. For before these days rose up Thutas, boasting himself to be somebody, to whom a number of men of about 400 joined themselves who were slain, and all and as, as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. Mm -hmm. After this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing and drew away much people after him. And he also perished. Mm -hmm. And all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men. And let them alone. Leave them alone, man. For if this counsel or this work that they're doing be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of God, you cannot overthrow it. That's right. We need to stand up, people of God. Embrace the truth. They're coming against us. Guess what? The Lord has already said. That his church is built and the gates of hell cannot come against it. They will not prevail against his church. And to him they agreed. And when they had called the apostles and beaten them. Sometimes you're going to have to take some stripes. That's right. Yes, sir. For what you believe, what you know is true. The pressure is turned up. The fire is heated up. They're coming against you. But hold on to the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. They commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. And they departed from the presence of the council. Watch this. Rejoicing. That they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Seems to me like there was some thanksgiving going on there. You mean I'm standing up for the name of Jesus? And the government is coming against me? You mean the neighborhood is against me? Sometimes you wonder are the people of God with us? But they rejoiced that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Remember not to forget, people of God. Remember not to forget. Give God thanks in your situation. And I'm learning how to do that in a new way. This is, this, is a, this is an extension. It's expanding. I'm learning a new way how to give God thanks in my circumstance. We have to remember. The Lord wants us to remember that he is with us. The Lord wants us to remember that when the battle is at its hottest, he is still right there beside us. There is no need to fear. He's right there with us. It doesn't matter what you're going through. The Lord is nigh. He's right there. He's right beside you. Hallelujah. Encourage yourself in that word today. Remember to be thankful. Give the Lord thanks every day. Don't forget his benefits. And even when they come against you, Lord, teach us to rejoice that we are counted worthy to suffer shame for your name. Hallelujah. And I love how the apostles continued. And daily in the temple and in every house. They cease not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. So they don't like you? That's all right. They come against you? That's all right. 
The Lord is with you. If we keep our faith in the Lord, he, we will experience him delivering us. Just like he's able and he did for Hezekiah and the people of Judah. Every foreign God that comes against you will not stand. They will have to bow down to the Lord of Lords. The Most High. There is none like him. The one to whom we ascribe glory and honor, dominion and power and majesty be unto the ancient of days. Every foreign God will bow. Foreign God, little g, will bow to the God, big G, the only God, Jesus Christ, the cornerstone. Every foreign God will bow to him. Remember not to forget. Doesn't matter how old you are. Remember not to forget. As young as you are or as experienced as you may be. Remember not to forget. The Lord is fighting for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we are thankful to God, he's going to release blessings. Hallelujah. God wants to do a work today. And we want to give him room. We're going to make room for him to do something here today. Because this is his house. He has brought us into his house. Amen. We're going to make room for him today. We're going to come with thanksgiving. We're going to experience, we're going to receive from the Lord because we come in here with thanksgiving and praise. We lift up to his name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Today, if you don't have the baptism of the Holy Ghost, speaking in another language that you've never been taught, like the Bible says would happen today, if you take a moment and begin to give the Lord thanks. Thank him for helping you to remove whatever's in your way. Whether it's a decision you need to make. Whether it's some people you got to stop following. Whether there is some pride there that needs to be humbled. Begin to thank the Lord. And he's going to do a work in here today. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever you're fighting. Whatever you're going to. What tests you may have to deal with this week. Begin to thank the Lord that he's brought you out. Hallelujah. We're taking a moment to remember today that the Lord is bringing us out. Hallelujah. Can you stand today? This altar is open to everyone who wants to take a moment to remember Nothing and not forget. Have Hallelujah. Is there one person today to you want to experience God Jesus? Son, you want to experience what's written on the pages of scripture happening in your life today? God wants to fill you with the Holy Ghost. Somebody he here is fighting, is dealing with a battle. And God wants to deliver you today. To God wants to remind you he has not forgotten about you he that he wants to deliver you I and he wants to deliver you in this altar today understand. hallelujah you can come today this altar is open remember the not to forget hallelujah hallelujah Jesus hallelujah from and where I could have been remember Hallelujah. I'm human and human forget human forget so remind, remind me uh, uh, remind me Hallelujah dear Lord, dear Lord. Roll back, roll back 
the curtains of memories breeze now and then show me hallelujah Anybody there want to step out and just be thankful on Thanksgiving Day? The message went full. Come on, brethren. Come on. Don't stay there. Come, let's give thanks. As the saying. Hallelujah. If you need the Holy Ghost, come. But saints, the altar is for you. We're huge. And where? Thank you. God bless you. I could have been. Remember, I'm human, and humans forget. But remind me, remind me, dear Lord. Thank you for coming. Everybody, everybody, would you join? Take a moment. of Jesus and all he has done for me oh my soul cries out hallelujah praise God for saving me of Jesus and all he has done for me you know my soul cries out hallelujah praise God for saving Not one. Yes, no, not one. 
oh, none else can heal all of our souls' diseases. No, not one. No, not one. Oh, well, Jesus, he knows all about our struggles. And he, he will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the Lord. Jesus, no, not one, no, not one, oh, Jesus knows all about our struggles, he will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the Holy Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. No, not one. No, not one. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank. You made a way, you made a way. Oh, 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 you made a way. Oh, you made a way. I just to thank you, Lord. You've been so good. You've been so hallelujah. Oh, yes, you've been so good. Oh, you've been so want to thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, again. Thank yes. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, I just to thank you, Lord, and if it had not been for the Lord on my side.
No. 